Hello, friends. Out here at the bus stop again. Let me show y'all. Out here spending time with the Lord. Making requests. Pouring out my troubles. Seeking wisdom and understanding. <clears throat> what we all have to do. Get along with the Lord. And you know, I just want to say, if you don't have a desire to get along with Him, and uh, you're not able to just silence and still yourself to listen for Him to speak, then just tell Him that. And you can ask Him to give you a heart for that. And to, give, to put that desire in you, and He will do it. I've had to do that before. I wrote down a scripture for y'all that I just real quick wanted to share. And it's 2 Corinthians 4.18. Which talks about us to focus on, <clears throat> rather than focusing on the seen, what we can say, focus on that which is not seen. And that's, you know, I remember when I, and I'm learning that now. I'm learning it now. I, I continue to learn and grow in that. And, you know, I remember when I first started asking the Lord to help me. You know, I've heard it said what that is. I've heard everybody's opinion, devotionals, teachings, whatever. But I really sought the Lord to make it so clear to me to understand it so I could apply that word and be a doer of that word, not just a hearer of it. And so it's probably been, I know, a good two years. But, um, and I'm still learning it. But what I wanted to share about that is just a really good way you can start doing that. First, go to the Lord. You know, tell Him what you're wanting to learn about that verse. If that strikes you, if you want help with that. And He will help you. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, when I first started out looking for that understanding, I was it was so vague and just a big picture and an idea. You know, but what I'm finding is that we just do that through whatever we're facing that day. So whatever you're facing today, I have a friend who has a wound on her foot. She's a diabetic and a fracture right above it on the toe. And she's going to the wound care center today. And so how she could apply that scripture to practice it and do it in her life is just right before she goes in the doctor's office lord help me to see what i can't see here i mean i know i've got a broke foot and a hurt foot i know i'm about to go in here to this doctor you know earthly things but help me to see what's going on here that i can't see that you know about lord you see maybe you know, you're only sent to that doctor's office on this day to expose darkness. You know, because you have a light within you, right? And uh, we're called to spread that light of the gospel of Christ. The good news to anybody and everybody out here. The Lord, he does not want no man to perish, the Bible says. Not, not one. All right, let me just give another quick example. Um, let's see. All right, say I don't have the money to meet my budget this month, to meet my bills. Of course, I'm going to go to the Lord and ask Him for that extra income, that extra help, whichever way He might send it, and He will. Um, but that's something I can see. You know, I need some money. I need to pay these bills. I need to get the brakes fixed on my car. Um, that's what I know and can see and figure out on my own. But what's unseen in that? What's unseen in that lack of money there? Go to the Lord for that understanding. Where are you in this, my lack and my need, Lord? What's unseen about this that you can show me and teach me to help me grow up and mature in you, you know, and then go on and help other people? Just whatever situation you have, whatever's going on, I just could encourage somebody. Second Corinthians 4.18 let us fix our eyes on what is unseen rather than what is seen. You know, just like it reminds me of Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God. It's kind of like that, you know. Um, so I hope everybody's doing all right. I hope that could help somebody. Any questions, 
You can put it down below. Talk to you later.